Melodious Thunk by David Beinenbender is a wind band ensemble piece and in the middle, or about minute 30 in, there is a clarinet solo and it is tricky because it has lip glisses. These lip glisses go up from a C, one of them does, and the little smear downwards goes to an E flat. Both of them kind of tricky. So at a crotch equals 100, it's, um, it's quite steady, got a very pronounced um, quaver subdivision, it sounds a little bit like this. Now these lip glisses aren't easy. Um, the most famous example of lip gliss on clarinet is Rhapsody in Blue and for many of us it is almost impossible to slide past the break or at least not be able to go say chromatically past the break and then start a lip gliss. Um, so in Melodious Thunk it's, it's a little bit easier, we're starting on a C, but it relies on a couple of things. It allows us to be able to slide through the fingers a little bit but definitely going kind of chromatically through them but the other one more importantly is be able to be flexible enough in our jaw to be able to smudge notes together. Now there are a couple of schools of thought um, you can get away with um, slides and, and particular key placement. Um, I prefer the, the, the um, flexible embouchure approach. So for example here is an F and I'm going to bend it and here's going down So what we have is a situation where if we go from C to C sharp, but we play that C sharp so flat, we're getting very, very close to that C. So as we move chromatically up to from our C all the way up to the A, which is our destination note, if we were to bend notes with flexible jaw, we're smudging those notes together. See what I mean? So we are taking an A. You can bend that a long, long way. So in some ways, you're playing an F, for example, but you're kind of, like, in some ways, you could think of that F as an incredibly flattened A. Now to assist this, you still really want to be moving chromatically through the keys. Um, that will at least plug any gaps where the um, the bend might fail or the slide. So when I say um, chromatically, it's like maybe with a little bit of a smudgy slide as well, the finger movement. But really it's assisted by this flexible jaw. So it's it's kind of the laughing clarinet idea. So you're basically going ti yo, ti yo. The back of the throat or the you know the back of your tongue is dropping. Ti yo, i yo. And it's this kind of disgusting sound. So embrace that disgustingness. So, so getting into that kind of klezmer territory. Now being a wind band piece, um, clarinets are typically very straight, very pure, um, uh, very tuneful um, through these wind band pieces because you want perfect tuning. The solo, you got a chance to be a little bit dirtier, um, but it's still wind band piece so you probably can't be too outlandish. So I'll try and play it again. So the smear downwards, there's a trick here. You may notice that the percussion whacks out um, a whole bunch of noise before you kind of even get to the E flat or almost just in time for that E flat. So the fact that you are glissing downwards is kind of almost for effect. The fact that you don't ace that E flat is almost inconsequential because they're going to get smashed out by a bunch of percussion players. So really you're after, again, that really bent E F. So I got our F. <laughs> So you're assisting your bending of the F as you transition through the keys. Um, if you can slide through these then all power to you because it's incredibly difficult to do. But our destination is the E flat. We're going to bend our F as much as we can then we start moving through the keys and then land on the E flat and then have the percussion drown us out. And there we go. That's a little bit of how one could approach this clarinet solo in Melodious Thunk.